What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today what I'm gonna show you guys is that haircutting doesn't have to be overly complicated. Sometimes we can just do simple things to create a really cool haircut. So today I'm basing the haircut off of Casey Neistat who is a YouTube vlogger. The reason I chose Casey for this haircut is because at the beginning of the year I saw his vlog for the first time. He does a vlog every single day of the week and it inspired me to want to create these haircutting vlogs as often as I possibly could. So I've done almost 90 haircut videos since January. I hope you guys enjoy the cut. We're going to go over disconnection, scissor over comb, clipper work, uh, point cutting with the carving comb. We're going to do quite a bit of different techniques in this haircut but it's not complicated it's really simple and really fun so I hope you guys enjoy this video it's gonna be more of a quick fun video than it is so much a really intense step-by-step -step. so let me know what you think in the comments below um, this is the finished result through the glasses on there as well uh, but it's just disconnected messy to me he probably throws in one product and lets it just dry that way and he kind of tosses it around uh, all the time so it's a pretty cool style very versatile um, i think you could have it in straight hair and wavy hair so i hope you guys like the video let's get started here we go all right guys, so we're gonna start the haircut. Now the key thing with this haircut is really the sectioning. Um, I think sometimes Casey wears it a little bit lower down on the parietal ridge. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher for my haircut because I didn't wanna see that too much of a round shape in the cut exactly. But once I get that sectioned off, I do a horseshoe section all the way around from parietal ridge um, down just below the crown, mid crown area. And then I go through with my YS Park 334 comb. I'm gonna use this comb because it's got nice tight teeth and it'll get the hair nice and smooth. So I blow dry it first, then I go through with my clipper. So we're using our three guard on the clipper to go through and just get all of that bulk off. Now, I realize that a lot of you guys that maybe want a haircut like this, you're not going to be starting with long, long hair. So I'm just gonna buzz through this hair really fast. But just know that if you wanted to start this haircut, you would just section the top off and let the top grow. Don't cut the top too much, just cut the sides. And then as it's you know you're working through it, then you're gonna be able to grow that longer. So if you're somebody that's not a hairdresser and you're watching this, when you go to your hairdresser, just ask them to leave the top a little bit longer and work the sides for now until the top grows out. So I really wanna get into technique a little bit and just notice with the clipper, I'm using an Andis Master Series clipper um, with the number three guard like I talked about. Now that number three guard doesn't mean that that's how long I'm putting it throughout the entire head shape. We're gonna go through scissor over comb as well, but I'm going through getting that bulk out. So I use the number three as kind of a medium uh, length for the haircut, but as I work it up the head shape, I, I crank the clipper back towards my body when I get to the top just to leave a little bit of bulk and uh, a weight line towards the parietal ridge. Now I'm going through scissor over comb. I'm using my pen slim scissor from Mizutani. You can see how skinny that is. You can barely see it when you're in that side angle. It's got a nice powerful blade. I'm using a six inch scissor for my scissor over comb work. And like I said, the 334 comb. I like this comb. It's a little bit wide for some cases, but going through doing some men's cutting, I actually really like it for that. So I'm going through doing a little bit of detail work with the scissor. Another good reason to have a nice skinny scissor is working around the ears and everything. Thing. You don't have to worry about the blade getting in the way. And I'm working that weight line. You can see how it comes back, uh, diagonal back in the crown area. And I just work it until it's nice and smooth. Now I know with the mannequin head, it's a little bit harder to see, um, but just understand this is gonna be your typical kind of fade and just build up a little graduation around the parietal ridge area. And then I go through and I smooth it with my blow dryer one more time. This is more of a mannequin technique, uh, but I wanna get it nice and smooth for any of the clipper work. Now when I let the hair down, this is where the technique gets really fun and we're gonna do some point cutting with our carving comb. Now the carving comb has two different cutting sides. So it has a 100% cutting side and a 50% cutting side, but both sides of it cut. So you comb it up with the comb side, then you go back and forth across your fingers and that creates a point cut, which gives you a really shattered edge. So I'm removing length 
but I'm also breaking up the edge to give it a lot of texture. And I think that that's the key thing about this haircut is it's just really disconnected throughout. So um, not a lot of structure in the top whatsoever. I just overdirect everything back, cut it, point cut it through the top with my carving comb. If somebody had a little bit shorter hair and they're growing it into this style, I would say just go through and point cut with your scissor or you could do the carving comb technique as well. So now just diffuse it. I used a little bit of Bricado foam, but you could use gel. You could use whatever you want, uh, whatever hold you're looking for. Um, I use this with the diffuser just to get a little bit of curl in this uh, mannequin to create the style. But if you already have curly hair, you don't need to do that. Um, you could just put product in, let it go. I finished up with a little bit of hairspray and that is our finished look. Like I said, guys, quick video today, but I hope you liked it. I wanted to put something fun out for you guys. So let me know what you think of this video in the comments below and what you want to see next. All right, guys, like always, if you made it this far, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this haircut, hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends out there, and also make sure that you subscribe to this channel because we have a lot more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.